This whole story would begin millions of years ago. At that time, the multiverse was divided by four great races. The race of gods and angels, the race of demons, the race of elves, and the race of dragons. One day, the other races were envious of the power of the dragon race. So secretly, these three races put together a plan to deprive the Dragon King of his throne. The Dragon King, to see such insolence of the other races, he had no choice but to fight for his people. Because if he did not fight for his race, who else would? The Dragon King fought fiercely against the three of them. But after many days and many losses in battle, the Dragon King finally succumbed to the power of the other races. But the king, before losing his life, left a message to one of his servants. And the message was that very soon will appear a person who will have his great power inside. That person will have to serve him and teach him how to use his power in order to make him pay to those cursed. And so time would pass. The dragons that survived the war, many of them disappeared. And since that day, nothing was heard of them, except for some. These dragons that were still around were Shenlong, Porunga, and Zarama. These gods took advantage of their divine power to turn them into wish-fulfilling dragons and then sealed their power in seven spheres. And well here, everything would have happened as in the original story until that tragic day. Now we will place ourselves in the Tournament of Power. Goku and his friends were fighting fiercely to survive and win the Super Dragon spheres. The tournament was going on like any other, until... Now we will place ourselves in the underworld. The demon king saw that the angels were doing a tournament. He would say, This is magnificent. How many powerful beings are fighting in that tournament? If I take their vital energy, I will become much more powerful. Besides, if I don't take this opportunity, I will never have another one. Forgive me, god and angels, but in this world, only the strongest survive. The Demon King had called his army to go to the Tournament of Power. Lord Demon King, don't tell me that we are going to make a war. Are you not tired of living under the shadows, while the angels and the gods do as they please? Besides, if you do not feel it, there are many mortals in with great power. Lord, are you planning to make a massacre? Ha ha ha! How did you know? Aren't you thirsty for more power? It's really a shame that we can't use the vital energy of the gods and angels, since their energy is divine. But we can take advantage of the energy that those mortals have. Now everybody listen to me. Give your life for the Demon King. Suddenly, the whole army of the Demon King would start shouting like this, saying, Long live the Demon King! That's the way I like it. Now what are you all waiting for? Let's finish them off. Suddenly, all these demons would have come to the surface to go to the Tournament of Power. Meanwhile, in the Tournament of Power, everything was going on normally, when Daishinkan felt a bad feeling. What happens because I feel the presence of impure beings approaching the Tournament of Power? This is bad, they will appear at any time. But then out of nowhere, while Daishinkan thought, the Demon King along with his army would have appeared in the battle arena. All participants, along with the gods and angels, would be shocked after feeling the presence of the Demon King. Listen to me, gods and angels. I do not want to make a war. The only thing I want is to give me these mortals. The gods and angels to see the presence of the Demon King. These would come down from the observation post to the battlefield in order to confront him along with the angel Daishinkan. What is happening, angel? Did you not hear me? Give us those mortals. I'm sorry, Demon King, but we can't do that. So I'll tell you nicely. Please, get lost. I don't want to see your presence in this place. What did you say, you damn angel? I see you don't know your place, then I'll let you know. Suddenly, the Demon King had increased his power, leaving all the participants of the Tournament of Power on their knees. The dark key that the Demon King had was something very surprising. But Daishinkan, despite seeing the fearsome power that this Demon King had, he would begin to increase his power in the same way. Meanwhile, Seno-sama, he was observing everything that happened. Well, this is very bad if I don't do something now. This will become chaos. 
I don't want the Demon King to make a war now. This could damage the peace that has been there for years. It would be better to make a deal with them. At that, Zenosama would start shouting like the same. Wait, you guys calm down. I think we can come to an agreement. That Shinkan and the Demon King, after hearing the words of Senosama, would calm down. Lord Senosama, excuse my words, but is it wrong? How can we make a deal with the Demon King? Angel Dai Shinkan is the best thing to do. If we don't do it, you know what could happen, right? You know how many lives will be lost? Go, midget you. If you know your place, it's okay, I hear you. Look, Demon King, we cannot give you the participants of the Tournament of Power because that would complicate things but we can give you a universe that you want. The Demon King, after hearing the proposal of Zeno-sama, would not agree very much, but after thinking about it very well, he would accept. All right, Dwarf, just this once I will accept. I think it's better this than nothing. Suddenly, the Demon King would rise to the sky to observe very well who would be his victims. First power, I of the Demon King, tell me who of all of them is worthy so that I absorbed their vital energy. At that, the eye would have pointed to a specific universe. This well dwarf already decided it. I want that you give me to the universe seven. The universe seven, after hearing the news, would be shocked and that Mr. Beerus would say, excuse me, great demon king, but I think you're wrong. Our universe is not so strong, really not worth it. God of destruction, my eyes do not lie, so I want you here. You heard it, Universe 7. Surrender to the Demon King, or else you know what will happen. Damn it, damn it, it can't be that this is happening. At that time, Goku, seeing the concern of everyone, this Saiyajin would say to the Demon King, Demon King, answer me one thing. Tell me what our destiny will be. Well, the most obvious one will be death. Suddenly, Goku would begin to clench his fist and then say, Demon King, I do not know who you take us for but we will not let you end our lives in this way. We intend to fight to the end, is not it, friends? Goku's friends, even though they were afraid, after seeing the Saiyajin's determination, they would take courage. That's right, Kakura. We won't let this damn guy step on our pride. We won't give him our life just because. Just this once, I'll fight with you, Kakura. Well, you are all idiots, even though you already know what your destiny is. You still have the determination to fight. Okay. As compensation for your bravery, I will let you fight against me only. So everyone would have thrown themselves against the Demon King, but even though they used their strength against the Demon King, this would only cause all of them to succumb to his power. In that moment, there would only be three people left. These were Beerus, Goku, and Vegeta. Guys, I'll take care of him. Maybe he won't live to tell the tale, but I have no other choice. I have to give it all so that at least two of them continue to live. Godlike form Hakai. In this form I am able to use all my power, besides my power increases ten times more than usual. How interesting God, you have increased your power a lot, but that won't be enough. Shut up Demon King and take this, Great Claw of Chaos! So a strong blow would have fallen against the Demon King, but this blow would have done nothing to him. How is it possible that my attack didn't do anything to him? Damn it! But still, I can't give up. Great chaos energy! So a ball of energy would have appeared all over the tournament of power. What is that energy? It has great destructive power. Wait, Mr. Beerus, if you throw that ball of energy, it will eliminate innocent people. I'm sorry, Goku, but there is no other way. See you soon, Demon King. Chaos energy destroys everything in your path. Die, damn Demon King! So Beerus would have thrown the energy of chaos to the Demon King, but this demon with just one hand would have made it disappear in just a few moments. This can't be true. Suddenly, the Demon King in just a second would have stood in front of Beerus and then give him a strong blow that would send him flying far away. Beerus would be on the ground very hurt by that simple blow. God of Destruction, I return to your attack. So this ball would have impacted against Beerus to end his life. Now it's up to you, mortals. That damned as he dares, suddenly Vegeta would be launched against the Demon King. But this Demon King, without wasting much time, would only grab Vegeta by the head. Vegeta with much effort would begin to hit the Demon King again and again, but his attacks were useless. The Demon King, without thinking twice, 
would absorb Vegeta's vital energy and then end his life in just an instant. Saiyajin, now only you are left. You were the first to speak and now you will be the last to die. You're a miserable bastard. I can't believe you did this to my friends. Beerus, Vegeta, Krillin, you even eliminated my precious son Gohan. I will never forgive you for this. Suddenly, Goku's eyes would have turned white and then expelled a great power. Goku's body was falling apart. It was the first time that Goku used the Kaioken for 40 times. The only thing that was going through his head was to avenge his friends. So this Saiyajin with a great speed would throw himself against the Demon King to give him a strong blow in the face that would make him retreat a little. The Demon King after receiving this blow would be a little surprised saying, So you are not as weak as I thought. This time I will fight you seriously. The Demon King would give several blows to Goku which would leave him seriously hurt. But Goku, despite being hurt, he would continue attacking again and again the Demon King. This damn Saiyajin, when is he going to surrender? Gravity pressure kneel before my mortal. Goku would fall to the ground from the great gravity pressure of this Demon King. Damn, I couldn't be able to get up. What's wrong, Saiyajin? Don't you get up? You haven't even been able to use my 10%. You are weak. Why don't you beg me on your knees for your life? I've already done it. Accept it. You lost your loved ones. The only thing you have left is to die. Shut up! I won't accept that! Forgive me, everyone, but I have to go over my limits if I want to avenge them. Kalken by 90! So a strong aura of red color would have sweated the whole body of Goku. Goku, despite the gravity, would get up with great effort. I will not bow down to you, you damned demon king! Meanwhile, on the planet of Kaoisama, he was resting when suddenly he felt the bestial power of Goku's energy. What the hell is going on? Don't tell me that Goku is using the Kaokin for 90. Is that even possible? I have to stop him at all costs. His life is at stake. Kaosama would communicate with the Saiyajin quickly. Goku, stop. Please, calm down. If you continue like this, you will lose your life. I'm sorry, Kaosama, but I have to avenge my friends. I have to give everything in this last attack. So Goku would have charged a Kamehameha multiplied by 20. This Kamehameha would have impacted fully against the Demon King. The body of the Demon King would have been smashed to pieces. Goku seeing this would only untransform to fall to the ground very hurt. Goku could barely maintain consciousness. But just when Goku thought he had won something strange would happen out of nowhere. The Demon King's body would completely regenerate. Saiyajin, if that was impressive, you really did very well. But it's time for you to die. Suddenly, the Demon King would lift Goku by the neck and then throw him through the air, to throw him a ball of energy. Meanwhile, Goku, the Saiyajin who was about to die, would ask himself many questions. I'm really going to die? Is this the end? In the end, I couldn't avenge my friends. Is it all over here? Meanwhile, inside Goku, a very mysterious voice began to speak. A very mysterious voice would start to sound in Goku's head. Something was calling him. Goku at that moment could hear the ancient dragons shouting for their king to return. At that, the ancient dragon king would have appeared before Goku, thus telling him, I think it's time for you to wake up, new dragon king. Go ahead and bring our race back to the top. Goku, after hearing the voice of the former Dragon King, would wake up to deflect the Demon King's energy ball. Goku's wounds would begin to heal on their own. That's right, I am the King of Dragons. Now I remember all of you are traitors, especially the Demon King. You will pay for having betrayed us and for having eliminated all my friends. I, as the ruler of all the dragons at this time, I order the three dragons to appear and give me all their power. I, as the ruler of all dragons at this moment, command the three dragons to appear and give me all their power. In that, out of nowhere, the super spheres would begin to glow uncontrollably, thus appearing the great dragon, Zarama. Meanwhile, on Earth, and Namex would have happened exactly the same. 
these two dragons would have responded to the call of their king. At last, the king has awakened. We have to help him. These dragons in just a second would have appeared in the Tournament of Power along with the dragon Zarama. The demon king and his army along with the angels would be shocked, wondering what was going on. What the hell are these three dragons doing here? Is it true that the dragon king is back? I thought you were already dead. I agree with the demon king. How the hell are you still alive? Angels and demons, I never died. I was just waiting for the opportunity to take revenge. And finally the time has come. Meanwhile, the other dragons... King, at last you have awakened. We waited for this moment for a long time. Dragons, I want them to give me all their power and merge with me. We will make the Dragon Empire rise again. As you command, Master. Suddenly, the three dragons would they would start to give their power to Goku. This is bad. We can't let them have the power of the three dragons. I will not allow this. Zarama, your power will be the last one that I'm going to absorb. Them stop them. Very well, King, as you like. Dragon Roar! A strong roar would come out of the mouth of Zarama, thus making Daishinkan and the Demon King retreat completely. How is it possible for a simple dragon to push us back? I will not allow this. Suddenly, Daishinkan, together with the Demon King, would throw themselves against Zarama in order to fight fiercely against him. Meanwhile, Goku, the Saiyan, after a few seconds, would have absorbed the power of Shenlong and Purunga. Now the only one left was Zarama. That's enough, Zarama. Let me have the rest. As you say, Master. Zarama, in just a few moments, would enter Goku's body to give him all his power. Goku, after receiving the power of the three dragons, along with the awakening of the will of the Dragon King, this scene would begin to glow uncontrollably. The angels and demons could only watch along with the other participants. There is nothing they could do. Goku's body would begin to emanate a strong golden aura, would suddenly start screaming. His power would not stop increasing until after a few moments that glow would have disappeared to show his new state. This was the Super Saiyan King of Dragons, a state that can only be achieved if the person absorbs the power of the three dragons along with the will of the King of Dragons. Wow, this is amazing. My body feels so different. Here is the power of the three dragons. I think it's time to make them pay. The Demon King along with Daishinkan would be surprised and say, this can't be true. The most powerful race is back. Demon King, you will be the first to die at the hands. Goku would throw himself against the Demon King to give him a blow so strong that he would make him retreat. Wow, to have woken up King of the Dragons, it can be said that he will still retain a lot of power. Suddenly, these two would begin to have an intense battle. The battle was very even, but the Demon King would say, I've had enough of this. The Demon King would increase his power by 50%. This time, if I will finish you, King of Dragons. Great blow of Demon! A strong blow would have impacted against Goku, but Goku, in spite of receiving this blow, would continue as if nothing. Wow, if that you are resist, what do you think this? Emperor of the Dark Flames, lend me your flames and burn my enemy. A black flames would have come out of the Demon King. Goku Alver that these flames surrounded his body would have used seven ability as a Dragon King, cutting wind. A strong wind would have emerged from Goku's body, thus causing the flames to go out. This is impossible. He extinguished my dark flames just like that? I told you, Demon King. This will be the end of you. You will pay for having betrayed us and for having eliminated my friends. Zarama, tell me which one is the most powerful ability I have so far. Your most powerful skill is the Superior Dragon Strike. The power is that if you use that technique now, your body will wear out a lot. It doesn't matter, Zarama. I have to do it. Dragon King, don't boost your ego too much. Just because you managed to extinguish my flames. At that, the Demon King would launch again against Goku to give him a blow. But Goku would dodge it very easily. 8th skill, Superior Dragon Strike. Goku's fist would have ignited into flames then insert a strong blow to the Demon King, which would make him crash into a few debris. Daishinkan, seeing this, would be surprised and say, 
Dragon King, you better surrender now. I will not hold back using my power against you. If you surrender now and don't give your power, you will leave the Saiyan inside you alive. Damn scum, I won't do that. In case you don't know, the Dragon King and I are now only one person. We both share the same ideals. Then it's a pity. I have no choice but to end your life. Daishinkan would start to move at high speed against Goku to give him several blows. Goku, the only thing he could do at that moment was protect himself from his attacks. What's wrong, King? You can't do anything? Shut up, damned. Four ability flame of the Golden Dragon. Some flames would have come out of the mouth of Goku to go against Daishinkan. This angel, the only thing he could do to see the flames approaching at high speeds was to retreat backwards, because he already knew that if those flames touched his body seriously, very bad. Goku would take advantage that Daishinkan was a little distracted by the flames, so he would move through it to get behind him. Eighth ability, Superior Dragon Strike! Goku would have given a strong blow to Daishinkan that would send him to fly far away, but in spite of that, Daishinkan would get up very angry with some wounds that would have healed quickly by his angelic power. Damn who do you think you are. King of the Age of Death. Daishinkan in just an instant would kick Goku in the stomach. This would cause Goku to spit some blood. How is it possible that that simple kick made me spit up some blood? Master, this is very bad. We better go for now. His body's not withstanding the power of the Dragon King and less our powers. Master, I told you that if you used the 8th ability, your body would wear out. But you ignored that warning. I'm sorry, Zarama. I can't leave yet. But Master, your body is losing a lot of power. You have to get out of here. Please, hold on a little longer. I know we can win. Goku would be launched again against Daishinkan to hit him in the face, but Daishinkan would achieve would grab Goku's fist. What's wrong, Dragon King? You have become very weak. The old Dragon King was not as weak as you. The if he had the power to face our great power. But you know, there is an ancient legend that says that if someone absorbs the power of the Dragon King, the body of that being that achieves it will gain a fearsome power. And I really want that power. Now that you are at your weakest point, Dragon King, it is best opportunity to absorb your power, so we can finish with your race once and for all. At that moment, Daishinkan would give Goku a punch in the stomach, which would make him kneel on the ground. That's the way I like it, King Dragon. That's your position. Look at me from the ground. Maybe now you can meet your friends again. Meanwhile, Goku was being subdued by the power of an angel. In spite of the pride that this Saiyan had, he would think about the idea that Zarama gave him. Master, please escape. He has no more time left. Damn it. I can't accept this. But you're right. Fifth ability, Golden Dragon Wings. A large wings would have emerged from the body of Goku, and then rise from the ground quickly, to fly out of the Tournament of Power. But Daishinkan, seeing that Goku wanted to escape, this angel would say, So you had the strength to get up and run away. Don't think I'm going to let you off that easy. Angel Chains! Chains would have come out of Daishinkan's body to completely trap Goku. The Saiyan was completely covered by Daishinkan's chains. I can't move. What are these things? Where do you think you're going? I won't let you escape. Angel, I don't want to die here because of some simple chains. At this moment, I release my remaining power. Goku would begin to release his remaining power. The chains of this angel would begin to break little by little. What's the matter? How can you be able to break my angelic chains? Demon King, wake up for how long you are going to keep sleeping. The Demon King, after hearing Daishinkan's words, would quickly get up. I really didn't expect that dragon to give me such a strong blow. Maybe I was a little overconfident, but you know, that has left me very upset. Demon King, it's good that you woke up now. The Dragon King is breaking my chains. I need you to lend me your power to tie him up again. Angel, you don't need me. Chains of the Dark Demon. The chains of the Demon King together with those of Daishinkan would have tied Goku's body with even more strength. So even though Goku was increasing his power, he could no longer do anything against the chains of those two beings. Goku, after increasing all the power he had, he would have lost his transformation as a Dragon King by the wear of energy, for later fainting on the floor. Very well, Demon King. We have defeated the Dragon King. Angel, the garbage will always be garbage, never forget that. You're right, Demon King, for helping me defeat the Dragon King. I'll let you have half of his power, and besides that, I'll let you end his life. 
Normally I would refuse, but this is a special occasion. Suddenly the Demon King would say, Dark Knight Sword, come to me! Thus, a great sword would have appeared in the Demon King's hand. Meanwhile, inside Goku's body, the other dragons would be very upset by the defeat of their master. Master, please wake up. You can't let yourself be defeated now, please. Someone help our king. Meanwhile, the Demon King, the Demon King, he would raise his sword. Sword of the Dark Knight, pierce the heart of this mortal and give me his power. The sword would be about to pierce the heart of Goku. But suddenly, something very strange would have happened. Goku's body would start to emit white light that would make him disappear from the Tournament of Power. What happened? Because my sword didn't go through the Dragon King's body, it can't disappear just like that. Quick, Angel! Use your eye to feel his presence as Dragon King. Daid Shinkan would use his angelic eye, but despite doing so, he would not feel Goku's presence. Sorry, Demon King, but the Dragon King's presence has completely disappeared. The Demon King's face would change to one of anger, and then he would start screaming at the top of his lungs. Who is to blame for all this? Who betrayed us in this way? Who is the culprit of all this? Who betrayed us in this way? When I see him, I will make him pay with my own hands. We were so close to get his power. Wow. I didn't expect that. That Saiyan managed to awaken the ancient power of the Dragon King, and if it wasn't enough, he managed to escape. That's amazing. But Demon King, answering your question, I think it is more than clear who were the culprits of all this. The only race capable of doing something like this is the race of the elves. Are you telling me that the race of the elves did all this? Those damned took advantage of the fact that we left him weakened and then took him away. But nothing happens, because this will not stay like this. The only problem is that we do not know where they are, but we will move heaven and earth to know where they are, and when that happens, we will finish them with all their race for this betrayal. Time would have passed. Three days would have passed after that betrayal. In that time, the Demon King proposed an alliance to the race of gods and angels to finish with the other two races. They, after thinking a little, would accept without any problem. After the angels accepted, the Demon King declared war on the other two races. The Demon King, together with the angels, would have unified their worlds in order to become stronger and prepare for the future war. Meanwhile, Goku, now we will be low in hospitable place a place that very few beings can enter. That place is called Valoria, or better known as the Land of the Elves. In this place, the Elves, along with their king, have lived in harmony. The only beings who know this place are the same Elves. They, after the fight against their Dragon King, disappearance of all places without a trace. For the sole purpose of creating their own land, Goku was totally without consciousness. But after three days, he would finally wake up. What happened? Where, where am I? Well, Goku, you finally woke up. Or rather, King of the Dragons. Wait a minute. I, I can recognize that face. Damn it. Don't tell me you're the King of the Elves. What the hell are you up to? Goku would have risen from the ground quickly to get into a fighting pose. Dragon power, come to me. A golden energy would have come out of Goku's body to use his form as a Dragon King. King of the Elves, I will make you pay for what you did to me in the past. Wait, Dragon King, calm down. That was a long time ago, in case you didn't know. People change. I, I can't trust a traitor like you. Goku would throw himself against the King of the Elves and then throw a blow at him. I see the only way for you to see that I'm not lying is to defeat you. The King of the Elves would dodge Goku's blow to then activate one of his abilities. This was the Elven Dance. Don't even think that such a stupid technique is going to work on me. Flames of the Golden Dragon! Some powerful flames would come out of Goku's mouth, but the King of the Elves would dodge them very easily, to then get behind the Saiyan, thus giving him a small blow in the back that would make him get on his knees again. How a simple punch made me get on my knees. Dragon King, listen! 
The only thing I want is to help you. If you agree to make a deal with me and help me defeat the race of angels and demons, I promise you that I will train you and I will make you recover all your power. And why would you do that for me? Well, that's very easy. It's been thousands or millions of years where those two races have done and what they want and eliminated many innocent beings. I am sure that with your power, we can stop them. Besides, you seek revenge on them. Don't forget that they killed your friends. I'm sorry, but I can't trust you. Master, if you excuse me, although it is hard for me to say it, in case you didn't know, they're not the most powerful race. They are the weakest. But they have secret techniques that could be of great help in the future. Besides, I don't feel any bad intentions. We dragons can know when a person is lying. If you say so, I have no choice but to trust them. Alright, King of the Elves, just this once I will trust you. But if I see any bad intentions on your part, I promise you that even if it costs me my life, I will tear your village to pieces along with my dragons. I know, Dragon King. And tell me, King of the Elves, when we start with the training, today I'll let you get to know the land of the elves, so see you tomorrow. Goku, without thinking twice, would have set off to meet the land of the elves. So arriving the next morning, Goku would be sleeping when suddenly the King of the Elves would have gone to the room where that Saiyan was to say, King, it's time to get up and start your training today. Goku, after hearing the voice of the King of the Elves, would get up very quickly to go to the training field. Tell me what my first training will be. Your first training would be to see how long you can manage to stay with that transformation. To see your level in battle, for this training you fight with my daughter, Juna. She will be your opponent. I don't have time for these jokes. I need to control the power of the dragons. Father, is this conceited man? I will make him shut up his words. Dragon King, don't be confident. My daughter will be the next queen of the elves. I don't say this because she is my daughter, but because she's really strong. Well, if you say so, it's okay. Goku would use his power as a Dragon King again. Girl, if I hurt you, it won't be my problem. You smug bastard, you'll see. Giuna would use the same technique of her father, thus throwing herself against Goku to start hitting him again and again. But since Goku already knew the Alvin dance skill, he would only use his eye power. With these eyes, I could be able to perceive things slower. Goku would start throwing several punches at Giuna, dodge them just like it was nothing. I'm sure I'm using the Dragon Eyes, because I can't hit it. Giuna would use his second ability, an enhanced Elven Dance skill, the eight crushing kicks of the Elven God. Juna, in just seconds, would give the eight kicks to Goku for all parts of his body. Goku would use his eye power, but although he could pursue things in a very slow way, even his eyes were not at the required level. This would cause Goku to fall to the ground, dejected. It cannot be possible a girl defeated me as if nothing. I will not allow this kind of humiliation. Master, wait a moment. Are you going to use your eighth ability again? Remember that your body has not fully recovered. Besides, here is the King of the Elves. If you for any reason hurt his daughter, he would not forgive you. Goku, in spite of the warnings that the Zarama dragon was telling him, would still use his most powerful ability against Juyena. Because of her great weakness at that moment, Upper Dragon Punch, Goku would take advantage of the fact that Juna was with his guard down to launch his Upper Dragon Punch. But when the punch was about to impact against Juna, the King of the Owls would stand in front of this Saiyan to stop his blow. Listen to me, Dragon King. If you someday hurt my daughter, I promise you that I will make you ashes, and I promise you that I will cancel the deal with you the King of the Elves began to increase his power in a very brutal way. The power of the King of the Elves was expelling would leave the Saiyan paralyzed. From his face would begin to fall a little sweat, thus realizing the great difference in power that they had at that moment. So this is the power of a king when he gets angry. Really very scary. Goku, although he would not accept being humiliated by anyone, 
would accept, which was defeated this time. Sorry, King of the Elves. I shouldn't have done that. I accept my defeat. If that's the way things are, for being the first time, I will let it go. If it happens again the next time, I won't be so kind. Now that I can see how long you can last with your power, the first thing you will do is to keep that form as long as you can. At first it will be difficult, but you have to do it to get used to the power of the dragons. Time would pass, more than three months would have passed. Goku would continue training day and night to be able to master the power of the Dragon King. But even though so many months would pass, Goku still could not control that power in its entirety. Goku would start thinking why he still couldn't master his power yet, but the King of the Elves would knock on his door to enter his room. Wow, I see that you have become very strong. You have really surprised me that you have managed to increase your power in such a short time. But as far as I can see, you still have not mastered your power as a Dragon King. If I know perfectly, well, I don't understand the reason either. I recommend that you ask the same dragons directly that you keep inside you. Goku would begin to start meditating, so that his consciousness could get inside his body. Goku would meet the three dragons, Shenlong, Parunga, and Zarama. Master, how long? What is the reason for your visit? Dragons, I have a question for you, because I still cannot be able to master my power. Well, it is a little difficult to answer, because in case you do not know, just as there are dragons who approve of you being the new Dragon King, there are other dragons who do not approve. At the beginning, the old Dragon King was hated by all of us, but thanks to the fact that he showed what he was capable of, we all began to admire him, thus making him our king. Now, he was born of superior deity destined to greatness, a prodigy in every way. But you, Master, with all due respect, you were born from the lowest position, managing to cultivate your power little by little until you became someone moderately strong. You are a mortal trying to become a superior deity. If you want to have all your power to avenge your friends in our race, you will have to convince the other dragons that you also can be a king. Zarama would take Goku's conscience to a very dark place. Master, I say goodbye. Now everything will depend on you. Zarama would have disappeared to leave Goku alone. What's wrong with this place? I can't see anything. Who dares to interrupt my sacred place? Suddenly, a dragon of colossal size appeared before Goku's eyes. Suddenly, a dragon of colossal size would have appeared before Goku's eyes. I am Goku, the current Dragon King. And who are you? I am the Dragon of Despair. Tell me, why do you proclaim yourself as the Dragon King. You're only a false king. Damn mortal, this makes me very angry. Who gives you the right to say that you are the new Dragon King? Suddenly, the dragon began to roar with great force to demonstrate its enormous power. Listen to me, Goku. If you want to call yourself Dragon King, you will have to defeat me. In this world, only the powerful can be able to rule other people. The immense power of the dragon would be felt in that totally dark place. Goku's conscience was suffering great damage. What happens with this immense power? I cannot be able to move. The dragon would have grabbed Goku with both hands to stare at him. A small flame of fire would come out of the dragon's mouth. So starting to burn the consciousness of Goku, Goku would feel great internal pain. If my body is burned by the power of this dragon, I cannot return to this place for a long time. If you want to earn my respects, come find my physical body. Now disappear from here, mortal. Goku would wake up from his meditation very agitated. What was that thing? How can there be someone with so much power? My body does not stop shaking. Master, it's okay. He looks very scared. Zarama, tell me, what was that thing? Master, he is the dragon of despair one of the strongest dragons that exist. He, along with two other dragons, disappeared after the war against the other races. 
And do you know where he is now? Well, he is in the land of the dragons. If you go there, I recommend you to be careful, because even I don't know what can happen. Hey, Dragon King, are you okay? You woke up a while ago and you haven't said anything since then. Your mind seems to be totally blank. Goku would tell everything that happened to the King of the Elves, to the Land of Dragons. I didn't know there was such a place. You plan to go to that place on your own? If I want to master all this power, I will have to. From what I've been told, it's a very dangerous place. I can't waste any more time. I need to master this power as soon as possible. Goku was about to go to the Land of the Dragons, but the King of the Elves stopped him by grabbing his shoulder. Wait, Dragon King, I can't let you go alone. I won't let you lose your life in vain. That's why you will go with my precious daughter. You are serious, Elf King? I have no problem with her going, but she will only be a hindrance to me. Besides, I can't guarantee her safety. It's all right, she is capable of taking care of herself. The Elf King would have called his daughter, telling her everything that had happened. It's okay, father. I will only do it because I can't disobey you. Daughter, if something happens, escape. I cannot bear to lose you. Don't worry, father. That's what I'm going to do. Goku and Guina would have left from there to go to the land of the dragons. Goku and Guina were walking day and night, since the land of the dragons was nowhere, nothing near. After a few days of so much walking, they would find the secret entrance to the land of the dragons. Well, we finally arrived after so much walking. The good thing is that we did not find any beast on the way. So, what else do we expect? Let's enter the land of the dragons. But when Guina was about to enter the land of the dragons, something very unexpected would have happened. A person with a strange appearance would have thrown himself against Guina. But Goku realizing this would stand in front of Guina to deflect the blow of the subject. Tell me who you are and why you suddenly attack us. But look what we have here. You are strangers. I don't know if you know, but this is the land of dragons. It really has been a while since someone visited us, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to end their lives. I am the great guardian of the land of dragons, Zack. I promise I will end your lives. So you are the guardian of this place. I don't know if they taught you to respect women. Damn girl, who do you think you are to talk to me like that? You fist of emptiness. Dragon King, leave this to me. I'll put him in his place. Guina would activate Elven Dance Skill thus starting to dodge Zack's blows with ease. What's up, that's the best you got? I see you're just a simple talker. You haven't been able to touch a single hair on my head. Ha ha ha, I see you have some skill. I guess I'll have to get serious with you. From the sky would have appeared three objects. These objects were imbued with the power of the void, thus going to the guardian's body in spiritual form. These objects were a sword, armor, and a crimson shield. First ability of the Void Sword, Diagonal Cut! A giant cut would have come out of the Void Sword, thus going to where Guina was. Guina was barely able to dodge that giant cut. What's the matter? Now it's much stronger than before. Zack, in just a few moments, would have been put behind Guina, thus giving her a kick that would send her flying, thus crashing into the floor of the place. Garbage will always be garbage. If you don't want to end up like her, you'd better get down on your knees and beg me for your life. If I were you, I wouldn't be so sure about that. What are you talking about? Guina began to get up from the ground very angry, so as to start increasing her power. How dare you attack me from behind? You have no dignity whatsoever. She would start moving at high speed, thus using her 12 crushing kicks. Zack would start receiving kicks from all directions, not being able to see any of them. She is so fast my eyes can't perceive! What will be her next move? My armor is not supporting much. Every kick she throws at me makes my armor break more and more. If this keeps on like this, I'll be in trouble. When Guina was going for her seventh kick, Zack would use his shield of emptiness, but in spite of using it, this would break along with his armor. Now that Zack was totally unprotected, the kicks would cause him an immense amount of pain, thus breaking his ribs. The last kick of Guina would hit Zack's face, causing the guard to fall to the ground, badly injured. Zack, who was on the ground, would begin to agonize while spitting some blood. This can't be happening to me. I was defeated by a girl? My power of the void could not be able to help me? But this is not going to stay like this. You are going to know the power of the three dragons. Zack, there's no need for that. 
I've been wondering for a while who was making all this fuss. You are one of the three dragons. What are you doing here? Zack, explain to me who these two people are, and why they left you in such a sorry state. Sir, they are outsiders. I underestimated them in battle. I thought I could beat them, but look how they left me. So that's what happened. You underestimated the power of your enemy, and now you are extremely serious. I guess if they left you in that state, they are quite strong. Don't worry, from here on I will take care of them too. How dare they disturb the sacred land of the dragons? They think they can come to this place and do whatever they want? Tell me, what are they looking for? The only thing I seek is to dominate the power of the dragons, and for that I need to take their power. How insolent you are, boy! You should watch the way you talk. I see that you do not know who I am. I am the ancestral dragon of the seven heavens. Well, I am the Dragon King Goku. Stop talking nonsense. I can tell you're looking for your death. Goku would begin to expel his golden power, thus using his form as a Dragon King. That golden fur, those eyes, that aura. It can't be. I have to check it out. Eye of the Emperor, I activate you. But when the Ancestral Dragon was analyzing Goku's power, would realize that inside his body, the power of the ancient Dragon King was flowing. It can't be true. I have to report this to the other two dragons, because a mortal has the power and blood of our king. The Ancestral Dragon would leave the place quickly to call the Dragon of Greed and the Dragon of Despair. Brothers, come see this! That mortal has the power of the ancient Dragon King! Wow, so you really came, fake king? Brother, what do we do? He is the king, and he says he wants our power! If he wants our power, he will have to prove he is worthy. Suddenly, the Ancestral Dragon would begin to increase his power brutally. Master, I don't think you can beat the Ancestral Dragon. His power is too powerful. Zarama, don't say that yet. On the battlefield, nothing can be predicted with the naked eye. Let's see what you are made of, false Dragon King. The Ancestral Dragon would soar high into the sky. Ancestral Dragon's furious strike. His fist would be filled with a very strange energy, thus throwing his fist at Goku. The Saiyan would likewise fill his fist with energy. His two fists would collide with each other. The collision of his two fists would cause the ground and rocks of the place to split. That's the best you have, false Dragon King? You're so weak you didn't make me back down one bit. The Ancestral Dragon would win Goku in the fist bump, thus hitting his stomach to expel him far from the battlefield. How could this be possible? I couldn't even get him to move an inch! Goku would shake his body, thus removing the debris on him. Suddenly, the Saiyan would have placed his two hands on his head to activate his dragon flames. The flames would be launched at the Ancestral Dragon, but the dragon would extinguish them very easily. You have become very weak, mortal. Even with the power you were given, you can't stand up to me. And you want me to give you my power? You are dreaming. You are not worthy. Let's end this. A giant wave ignited in blue flames would have been present. Master, not even if I activate my wings can we escape from that great wave. Will it be the end of us? Grina, who was seeing that Goku was in danger, would have put himself in front of the wave with his great speed. To put his hands on the ground, emerald-colored plants would begin to emerge from the ground, creating a capsule with them. Grina would use his elven touch to send Goku out of the waves. The capsule would break quickly. The big wave would hit Grina. Guina's body would be completely pulverized.